Hey folks, this is Eric coming to you from Kansas. Um, getting, just going to start with this YouTube thing, so bear with me. Uh, but uh, I'm uh, going to put a lot of stuff on this YouTube channel and uh, a lot of different things. But one of my hobbies is uh, solar. I've been doing it since 2008. And uh, uh, had a lot of different uh, variations of uh, systems. And uh, this is what I've got now. Uh, I've got it got it pretty well put together uh, as far as um, uh, what I want to do with it. Uh, I'd like to have more batteries but uh, I'll get into that later and I'll get into a lot of this other stuff that I've put together here this system but I uh, wanted to start with a little short one uh, just to keep it easy and uh, get my feet wet here so what I want to talk about is something I haven't seen a lot on YouTube very much at all and it's this uh, uh, well this Morningstar system in general uh, Morningstar charge controllers I think they're uh, uh, well underrated, uh, under talked about, but uh, <clears throat> one thing I want to talk about with this, this meter hub up here that uh, allows these meters to talk to each other if you have multiple meters. And uh, let me get a close up over here, you might have seen it online, but it's this meter hub here, and it's pretty simple, pretty easy to, pretty easy to set up, at least it should be, <laughs> but there's a couple of things that uh, Morningstar, I feel, didn't uh, uh, address properly in their instructions and I just wanted to put a video out there and uh, talk about it and uh, uh, if you guys have any more questions just let me know in the comments. But uh, one of the things what, that I ran into was I bought this thing used uh, and uh, thought I was saving myself a, uh, a buck. Well, I did save, save myself a buck or two. but. Uh, caught myself a little bit of trouble because uh, I didn't. It, I can't. Went, I got the meter hub, but I didn't get the the six uh, rolls of cable that's supposed to come with it. And so I had to go out and find my own uh, RJ11 uh, jacks and cable. Um, <clears throat> so I, I bought some cable from uh, a place on eBay, and uh, pretty cheap, obviously. You know, a few bucks for a couple of uh, strands of it. But what happened was the cable I bought was uh, it was crossed, and I'm not sure if that's a standard way of putting together phone cable. You know, RJ11 is the old phone cable, but you can't have six connectors in it. The phone cable has four usually, uh, but you need to have a, a six conductor RJ11 cables for these uh, for them to communicate with these charge controllers. And I didn't, uh, I, I knew that, so I, I, I made sure I bought some uh, six conductor cable. But what I didn't know is that it needs to be straight through cable, like straight through Ethernet cable. It can't be a, a cr crossed. So you know, with Ethernet cable, you have a cross cable and straight through. Straight through is the most common, but you buy a cross cable if you're just communicating between a computer and a device. So actually, in order to communicate with these charge controllers, you have to have a crossed Ethernet cable as well. If you if you don't want to have them hooked up to a. a, a a router, which I, I have these hooked up to a router now, but in order to, I bought one of these that had a had some settings on it that I had to change up, and I need a cross cable. Anyway, long story. I'll, I'll talk about that later. But uh, <clears throat> the meter hub, you need straight through RJ11 cable, not crossed. So I learned that the hard way. I had to had to cut the stuff I had and, and make my own uh, uh, jack connection. So I had to buy a crimp and all that jazz. Uh, the other thing is that when I got that all figured out is that uh, uh, I got these two hooked together and I hadn't got this thing really set up yet, This this the second charge holder I bought, and uh, I just wanted to see if they would communicate and they did. Well, it turns out I had this one running, this one is uh, my original one, I had it running in the middle of the day, it was nice and sunny, and it was putting out, you know, uh, over a thousand watts at the time, it was nice and sunny. and um, this one I, I got all hooked in and running, communicating, and this one just really dropped off in charge. And what happened is this one had a had a, a max voltage setting on it that was much lower than this one, and so it just dropped off the whole system, uh, stopped pulling in solar power. So the other thing is is if you uh, that that Morningstar didn't I feel didn't um, uh, communicate well that I think you need to know about is make sure you. Uh, have the settings for both your charge controllers, your, your Morningstar charge controller settings, uh, the same first, and make sure they're all um, 
set up so they'll act the same and react the same and make the same batteries and, and, and whatnot before you uh, hook them up to this with this meter hub. But anyway, once I got everything hooked up uh, uh, and running, it's been running great. Uh, the only thing is, for some reason, I can't get this one to get the same max voltage setting as this one. It's, it's a little bit off. And uh, I haven't quite figured it out yet. I haven't contacted Morningstar um, uh, about it really yet. But sometimes it'll uh, dictate off of this one. So it'll go to a higher voltage than what this one's set for. And this one will go to zero. Sometimes it'll do uh, this guy as the dictating high, high voltage setting. This one's at like 28.3 max. This one's at 28.6. Uh, sometimes it'll flip-flop between which one is the master and which one's the slave. I'm not sure why yet, but it's not a big deal for me. I, my batteries uh, I have a max voltage higher than that. I, I've got these lithium battery battle mords, which have been just fantastic, but I'll uh, get into those later. And another thing on the meter hub is that when you uh, run the power from your charge controller that's powering the meter hub is that the, this line I have hooked up to the B port from this charge controller is hooked up to the output of this meter that's attached to this charge controller. So inside here, the RJ11 cable comes from the charge controller into this meter. Then there's a second port on the back of this meter. If you, those of you that have these know what I'm talking about. The, the second port, the output of this, comes out of this meter and goes into the B port. The B port is where you need to plug in the power to this uh, device, and that's what powers it. So that comes from my uh, original charge controller here. So that, that runs that RJ11 cable, six connector cable runs up here, plugs in there. And then the A goes to my remote meter. Sorry, the A goes to my remote meter, and that runs uh, to this cable here. Uh, which is a big really good from Morningstar for that meter and goes upstairs and then uh, this number one here is connected to this uh, I guess what I call a slave uh, charge controller but uh, sometimes it doesn't act like a slave like I said but uh, <clears throat> that's what I want to talk about and I uh, hope that makes sense if you have any questions just let me know in the comments and we'll talk to you later